Okay, so let's talk about Laravel macros. Macros are a great way to extend the default functionality of uh, Laravel's class. So I will give you a couple of examples where something like this may be useful. Uh, first of all, let's take a look at this web.php file. So inside of here, you can see that, uh, you know, we have some obviously dummy, but still endpoints that would return some data for us. And this endpoint should only be accessible by the admin, and this one should be only be accessible by the team owner. Now, uh, you know, this obviously works. We are using like spotty Laravel permissions or however that's called under the hood. Uh, you see, the problem is that we only have a predefined set of, of roles in our application, and I don't want to type them out by hand every time. What if I make a change for the underlying value? I would have to update them all. So what we could do uh, is in our boot method, we could do something like um, route macro. Here we would provide the name. So for example, role. And then we'll have a function. This function will accept, uh, you know, an array of roles, and we'll just transform it so it's so so it uses that middleware. And the way we can do is we can do something like uh, you know maybe roles equals implode uh, the pipe, and then we can do like ri map and so return element value because we'd pass enumster, and we can just uh, pass the roles here. As a second argument, and this will produce something like you know, uh, admin team owner. And now we just can do something like this middleware, and I can speak to this in a second. So we can do role and then uh, you know, roles, and then we can return this. So, what's this middleware? Well, that's a great question. Uh, it seems that my ID is uh, smart enough to understand what it does. And yeah, it calls to route redis route because that's, you know, uh, what the macro does. Uh, it basically registers this, this callback inside of an array and then it calls it when it cannot find a method uh, on the default class. So now what this will allow us to do is replace this call to middleware role admin to do something like role, and here we can provide a user, sorry, role type, admin. And that's, you know, much more type safe. What would be nice if, if you know, we don't have to provide those as an array, if we only have one. Um, so we can just do array or role type, and we'll just do array wrap. So this will transform that in, a, in an array if it's not already in an array. And uh, this should work. Uh, so now we can do something like this. And team owner right here. So this is, you know, one of the, the instant benefits that you have. You have like a nicer type system. Uh, so, you know, this is a great use case for, for macros. However, uh, you know, there is obviously a bunch more. Uh, you can come up with any that you want. One of the ones that I like to use is um, like a response macro. So what I usually do is do like an OK. And uh, I use like like a small little help, helper. Uh, all it does is return uh, response JSON message um, okay and then you know 200 or just pass uh, a reference or you know just do response json this is not like the a good use case of macros because it should be referencing something inside of the class itself rather than just returning without like taking what was already there into consideration uh i know that makes sense but i hope it does um so yeah, one of the common ones they also seen was uh, doing like carbon macro freeze. And I have seen this on one of the blog posts uh, some time ago, and I just copied over from one project to another. And, uh, you know, all it does is just like call carbon set tests now uh, 
to time. I know I call this time zone time. And if there is no time to now, and we do the same for carbon immutable. So now, you know, if, if your tests you know, require you to freeze the time, you can just do carbon uh, freeze. So this allows you to like customize the, the API of built-in classes. And this is a really nice, really, really nice uh, thing that you can do. One of the common ones that like you can also do is uh, create like a phone normalizer uh, and tell it to a string. So you can do like string macro, you know, phone. And then just, you know, transform it however you want. There is again a lot of use cases that you can you can do. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to to show you this this nice thing that you can do inside of your projects and hopefully make your life a tiny uh, teeny bit easier. And maybe you know you can come up with some some cool use cases for that. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.